Want to know the forbidden financial strategies used by the world's elite? Ever wondered how the world's most successful financial minds think and act? It's not luck, it's strategy. What if I told you that there are five secret laws of power they all follow, hidden in a controversial book? These five laws have shaped the fortunes of billionaires, guided the strategies of top investors, and even influenced the decisions of world leaders. These five laws of power are the key to unlocking wealth, success, and persuasion. Want to know what these laws are and how you can apply them to your financial success? Stay tuned, because what you're about to discover might just change your life. Now, before we dive into these powerful laws, let me introduce you to a book that has been both praised and criticized by many. The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This book is not just a collection of ideas. It's a manual for those who want to understand the game of power and success. It's been read by celebrities, politicians, and business tycoons. But today, we're going to focus on something specific, something that could redefine your financial strategy. In this video, we'll uncover the top five laws of power that are directly related to money and finance. These aren't just abstract concepts. These are practical principles that you can start using today. And trust me, these laws might just change the way you think about wealth, success, and power. So let's get started. Number one rule of Wall Street. Law three, conceal your intentions. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to conceal my intentions? Isn't honesty the best policy? Well, in the world of finance and business, things aren't always that simple. Imagine you're an investor and you've discovered a golden opportunity in the stock market. You've done your research, crunched the numbers, and you know that this is the investment that could make you a fortune. Now, what would happen if you went around telling everyone about it? Your competitors would catch on, the opportunity might slip away, and your golden ticket to financial success could vanish into thin air. That's where the law of concealing your intentions comes into play. It's about being strategic, knowing when to speak, and when to keep your cards close to your chest. It's about understanding that in the world of money, information is power, and how you handle that information can make or break your financial success. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's more to this law, and four more that could redefine your financial strategy. Ready for the deep dive? Let's explore the first law in detail. In the world of finance, your intentions, strategies, and plans are your most valuable assets. They are the roadmap to your success. But what happens when those plans fall into the wrong hands? What happens when your competitors, or even your allies, know exactly what you're up to? Nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in fucking circles. Least of all stockbrokers. That's where the art of concealing your intentions becomes crucial. It's not about deception or dishonesty. It's about strategic thinking and careful planning. It's about knowing who to trust and when to reveal your plans. Think about some of the most successful investors and entrepreneurs in the world. Do you think they reveal all their strategies and intentions to everyone they meet? Of course not. They understand that in the game of money and power, information must be guarded, intentions must be concealed, and strategies must be revealed only at the right time and to the right people. This principle isn't just for the big players, it applies to anyone who wants to succeed in the world of finance. Whether you're negotiating a business deal, planning an investment, or even managing your personal finances, understanding when and how to conceal your intentions can be the key to your success. Now you might be wondering, how do I apply this law in my financial life? Well, it starts with understanding your goals, knowing your environment, and recognizing the players in your financial game. It's about being aware of who might benefit from knowing your plans and who might use that information against you. It's about being wise, strategic, and always one step ahead. But concealing your intentions is just one piece of the puzzle. There's more to uncover, more laws that can guide you to financial success. Let's move on to the next one. Law 7. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Now this law might sound a bit controversial, but let's dive into what it really means. In the world of finance and business, leveraging the efforts and talents of others is key. It's about building a team, delegating tasks, and using resources wisely. Think about some of the most successful companies in the world. Do you think the CEOs do everything themselves? Of course not. They have teams, experts, and collaborators who contribute to the success of the company. But at the end of the day, the leader takes responsibility and credit for the success or failure of the venture. This doesn't mean taking undue credit or being unethical. 
It means understanding your role as a leader, guiding your team, and recognizing that your success is a collective effort. It's about being smart with your resources and knowing how to get the best out of those around you. This law encourages a blend of collaboration, strategic thinking, and personal accountability, essential for financial growth and success. It's a reminder that leveraging the strengths of others can lead to greater achievements, but the ultimate responsibility always rests with you. You be relentless! Yeah! You be telephone fucking terrorist! Yeah! Law 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. This law is all about understanding human nature. When it comes to money, negotiations, and partnerships, appealing to people's self-interest is often more effective than appealing to their emotions or sense of obligation. Imagine you're negotiating a business deal. If you approach the other party with pleas or demands, you might not get very far. But if you show them how they can benefit, how the deal can be a win-win situation, you're more likely to succeed. This principle applies to investments, business relationships, and even personal finance. It's about understanding what others want and showing them how they can achieve it through collaboration with you. It's about creating value, building trust, and forging partnerships that lead to mutual success. Law 20. Do not commit to anyone. In the complex landscape of finance, the 20th law of power advises a stance of cautious flexibility. It's a reminder that committing too hastily to an investment, a business deal, or even a financial philosophy can lead to rigidity and vulnerability. The financial world is ever-changing, and opportunities and risks can shift rapidly. Being overly committed to one strategy, investment, or partnership can lead to missed opportunities elsewhere. By keeping your options open and not binding yourself too tightly to one path, you allow yourself the room to adapt and respond to new information and changing circumstances. This doesn't mean a lack of loyalty or focus, but rather a strategic awareness that enables you to make the best decisions for your financial well-being. Whether you're an investor, entrepreneur, or simply managing personal finances, this law encourages you to think critically, remain open to new possibilities, and be ready to pivot when necessary. It's a principle that fosters resilience, adaptability, and ultimately, financial success. Law 34. Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. Law 34 is a powerful principle that applies profoundly to the financial world. It's about embodying confidence, vision, and leadership in your financial endeavors. Acting like a king doesn't mean arrogance. It means having a clear vision, setting high standards, and leading with integrity. Whether you're managing personal finances, leading a business, or making investment decisions, this law encourages you to act with authority and conviction. By doing so, you command respect and attract opportunities that align with your financial goals. It's a mindset that influences how others perceive you and how you navigate your financial journey. This law teaches us that self-belief, vision, and leadership are not just abstract concepts, but practical tools that can lead to financial success and influence. Embrace your inner royalty, and the world will respond in kind, opening doors and paving the way to your financial throne. Ever wondered how these laws can be applied ethically? Let's explore how you can use these principles without losing your moral compass. These laws of power aren't just about manipulation or cunning strategies. They're about understanding the dynamics of success, recognizing the principles that guide the financial world, and using them to your advantage. You can apply these laws with integrity, honesty, and respect. You can build wealth without compromising your values. You can succeed in finance by being wise, strategic, and true to yourself. Remember, power and success come with responsibility. Use these laws wisely, and you might just unlock a new level of financial mastery.